a big worry, probably for a lot of people, I'm going away on a vacation. They're afraid because the food that they've been used to is not what they're going to make, it's somebody else is going to make. How do you approach their problem so they can keep their diet going and not get into trouble? Well, the first thing, well, it depends. A lot of clients go away on vacation. They're in, their, they're in a condo. You know, they're not in a hotel. And I always tell them, make sure that the refrigerator is stocked with some of the things that you know you need. Every, listen, if they, if, the, if they go into Florida, they can certainly go into a supermarket and just have in the apartment, um, you know, vegetables and pieces of fruit, things that they can cut up and take with them while they're out at Disney World all day long. It depends on where the person is going. Um, but things that they can pick on. I also tell them if they're going to a good hotel, there is absolutely no reason why a, 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 a concierge at a hotel cannot arrange for any hotel room to have just a fresh basket of fruit that they can pick on if they're hungry in between meals. Uh, going out, to, going out uh, for meals, I always tell my clients, stick with, try to stick with seafood for most of your vacation because it's the lowest in fat of all the proteins. It's very hard to really make a bad piece of fish whether it's a seafood or shrimp, uh, steamed, broiled, baked, stay away from creamy sauces and things like that. And fried is bad, right? And fr yeah, yeah, of course. I, my goal when someone goes away is to tell them, listen, you're sitting in the sun all day long, stay hydrated. You want to have alcohol, don't do it during the day. Try to prepare that maybe you're going to have you know, four ounces of wine in the evening. Most of all, I want my clients to go away and enjoy themselves, remember how great they look now, how wonderful they feel about themselves, and that if they come home from vacation and they're the same, no harm is done. They don't, they, I just don't want them going on vacation, coming back, being five pounds. It's the attitude of, I'm going to do the best I can while I'm on vacation. I'm not going to go on vacation with the mindset I'm going on vacation, I'm throwing caution to the wind, I'll get right back on track when I get back to see Lori. Would that sort of like fit any, an occasion to? Like a, a, a uh, wedding, yes. bar mitzvah, or whatnot? Yes, except if, if it's a wedding, listen, if it's a wedding or a bar mitzvah locally, uh, there's always ways to find out, and I do, I try my, my best to find out what they're serving at that wedding so that I can help my client plan from that, let's just say it's a dinner. If I know what that hostess is going to be serving at that wedding, I will sit with the client and help them plan for that dinner and then backwards throughout the day so they, I can, I'll help them plan. Usually they give you a choice of a yeah. piece of meat, a piece right. of fish. It's the, same thing, it's the same thing at a wedding. Just because you're going to a wedding, I mean, doesn't mean you can't enjoy yourself and eat well. Um, you, you get things, with, here's another thing, let's just say you're going to a wedding and there's three choices and it's, you know, there's chicken, fish and something else and they've all got sauces on them. My feeling is that 9 out of 10 people are going to a catering hall or a synagogue or a church, wherever the dinner might be. If they have a piece of fish there that's coming with cheese, you just ask the guy, I don't want the cheese on my fish. It's not that it's pre-made already. It's not, that it's not that it's pre-cooked. They can certainly, out of 400 people, find one piece of fish that doesn't have the stuff on it already. And you just tell them, I don't want it. Sometimes it's a little crust. You can take the crust off, right? That's exactly right. It, it's just a matter of being smart. It's, not, it's, just, it's about being, uh, you know, sticking up for yourself. I, it's just go, telling them, even if you have to, when you get to the hall, say to the captain, say to the maitre d', I have, I have some eating issues, you know, uh, whatever. I'm, I'm allergic to cheese. Do you think you could find one piece of fish for me tonight when you serve dinner that doesn't have the cheese on it? Of course, they're going to accommodate you. I mean, that's what they're there for.